Hey, Christian, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Hey. I'm good. Oh, so what happened today? Well, a lot of work. All right, Christian, I love it. I love, all right. So what, what do you do, Christian? What's your work? Uh, I work in a call center and I handle uh, reservations, flight reservations. Okay. Flights to the U.S., flights in the U.S., to Mexico, to the Bahamas? Um, uh, all of them, I think. Well, actually, all of them from Canada to, to Latin to uh, Midwest, around mm -hmm. the world. Hey, great. So do you like it? I I like it, to be honest, but uh, it's kind of... Um, stressful when someone when something is uh when something didn't go through or when you're trying to 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 make uh some ma some math with let's say refunds for example okay when the people ask for their money back huh they say oh well you know or i missed a flight or cancellation yeah that's right okay all right well, it's great to have you here. I'm glad we see we have Alvaro, Rudy, and Suyapa. So, and Laura just joined us. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Yesterday we were reading. Today we're going to take a look at the ideas of what we had. Um, let's start off by double checking, making sure that everything is okay. All right. So let's start off. Uh, Reread and make sure we are clear. Okay. So Christian, can you please read? The Kimchi Museum. Uh, okay, so the Kimchi Museum, Seoul, Korea. If you don't know about Kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum is an eye-opening experience. The museum was founded in 1986 to highlight Korea's rich kimchi culture. The exhibit includes displays of cooking utensils and materials re related to making and storing and eating the famous piglet vegetables. Mm -hmm. The museum also provides detail about the history and nutritional benefits of Korea's most be beloved, beloved? beloved side dish. Finally, I stop by the souvenir shop to try, to try various <clears throat> types of kimchi. All right, excellent. Before we continue, does anybody have any questions from number? From here, from the Kinchi Museum, any words, uh, pronunciation, or meaning that you're not sure about? Maybe exhibit. Good. Exhibit. Exhibit. Okay. Good. The exhibit. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe pick, picklet? Pickled. 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 Mm hmm. Uh, what does that mean? Ah, it's like in El Salvador with your pupusas. It's pickled. It's pickled cabbage. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But there they Got use it. pickled vegetables. Mm -hmm. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Tell me. The word highlight. Highlight. This is the focus. So the highlight is like the the main attraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Who wants to read the Museum of Gold? Suyapa. All right. Let's go for it, Suyapa. The Museum of Gold. Okay. The Museum of Gold. Bogota, Colombia. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the plate. It holds one of South America's most stunning collection because the exhibit sparkle so bridge. You can actually take photography without using a flash on your camera. Not everything is made of gold. Throw, I'm on the exhibit 
are ancient pre-Columbian item. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper. Now at Tombaugh. Okay, thank you this very much. Okay. This is done. Tumbao is the pronunciation, is the correct pronunciation? I don't know, Suya, but it's in Spanish. It's from ah, Okay. What's, <laughs> uh -huh. how do you pronounce it in Spanish? Tumba, tumba, <laughs> I don't know, you, 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 you are a native Spanish speaker and it's in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So let's take a look at some of the words. Uh, we want to make sure that we're clear here. The pronunciation is items, no items, items, okay. items. Good. Over here is sparkle so brightly, sparkle so brightly. Are there any other words that you don't know? Of the meaning of the sparkly, teacher. Sparkle, like in when sparkle. you have Christmas or New Year's, the sparklers. The little light, uh -huh. that's why, because they ah, sparkle, okay. bling, bling. Mm -hmm. Like uh, estrellitas, maybe. Yeah, that's why the sparkle, exactly, okay. for the lights. This is okay. the idea for sparkle. Teacher, yeah. I have a question. In the, in the phrase, it holds one of so South America's, what is the meaning? It holds. It means it has. For example, Marte, it holds Salvadorian paintings. Muna, Muna holds the, this is the, the arts here in El Salvador. It has uh, Fernando York, for example. It holds the paintings from Fernando York. It has. It's like to say it has. Similar, but not possessive, only that it has in display. Uh, okay. Any other words? Teacher, in Spanish, it is like to say posee. So, yes, pose. correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words for pronunciation or meaning? Stunning. Stunning. Like when your husband saw you when you got married. Oh, Carla, you are stunning. Wow. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Uh, uh, I have a question. In the Chocolate Museum, it says GUE. Mm -hmm. what, what's the meaning of GUE with double O? Yes, yes, we're not there yet, but I, as soon as we get there, I will explain it to you. First, okay. no problem. What about any more for the Museum of Gold? Okay, great. Hey, who would like to read the Chocolate Museum? Then we can take a look at the word that our partner asked, which was gooey. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, please read. The Chocolate Museum, Cologne. In Germany, the Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate, from cocoa bean to candy bars. You'll learn about chocolate 3,000 years, a history and discovery, how it was, was once used as money in South America. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you finish the tour, you can sample a Complimentary drink of fresh, go uh, pour chocolate, perfect for tooth with a sweet tooth. Okay, very nice. So we already know the first question is at the end, gooey. Gooey is like something that is thick, like with a candy, when you have a candy and you take the candy and you, ooh, like a cheese from the pizza, ooh, this is gooey. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, chicloso, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. Mm -hmm. 
but in this case it's used as an adjective for like delicious like for the when you have those like for pupusas right you have a pupusa and you oh it's so gooey it's so delicious mm -hmm. any other words Samples, maybe, I don't know. Samples? Yeah. Samples. Samples are when you go to the Super Selectos and they give you free food or Price Mart and they give you the free food. These are the samples. In ah, okay. They give you the samples. Okay. Any other words? Okay, perfect. Let's do the comprehension. When you go off the beaten path, you, what does that mean? Go off the beaten path. Don't be scared. There's only two options. It's, it's one or the other, you know. It's okay. Tell me, which one is it? The Teacher, path I... well, path. Uh -huh. You go off the beaten path. What do you do? Do something path. unusual. But the word path, what is the meaning? Too late path. now. No, no, no more. That's why in, in the reading, now is what you understand and what you know. Mm -hmm. So... What do you understand? When you go off the pin path, what do you do? Do something unusual. Correct. Do something unusual. Very nice. Excellent. That's what it means. So let's go ahead and continue. What about when something is founded? A start. Okay. We'll go start start. No yeah. problem. What about when something is stunning? It is extremely... Mm -hmm. Attractive. Attractive. Okay. Attractive. Good. When something is ancient. Very old. Very old. Good. And if something is complementary, what is that? Free of charge. Free of charge. Good. And when something is gooey, it's. Sticking and sticky, thick maybe. And sticky. Thick and sticky, yeah, right? Pupusas from cheese, <laughs> that's the idea. There you go, pizza. Uh-huh, thick and sticky, excellent. Very nice, great job. All of those, exactly what it is. Okay, any questions? No, teacher, any, no question. All right, great. So now we finish section one. You should be completed in the platform as well. All of these should be completed. Today we're going to go ahead and begin in section two then. Section two, let's read the objective. What is the first thing we're gonna learn about? Okay, Alvaro, what are we going to learn? Yes, by the end, by the end of the class, you will be able, you pass, continuous and simple paths to spread in action, which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another complex this action. Ahí All sí right. hay palabra, interrumpi, así que no sé cómo pronunciar. Don't worry, Alvaro. The important is that you didn't speak Spanish. That's the important part. The idea is important. interrupted and completed interrupted. action. Okay. Good. How do we pronounce it, Alvaro? Sorry, teacher. How do you pronounce it? Para, este, para el fin de en esta clase, ¿verdad? No, pronounce para it. How, how do we pronounce this word? A pronunciation. Pronunci interrupt. No. And what about here? How do we pronounce this part? Interrupted by a 
No. Uh, one mm -hmm. more time. The interrupted. Interrupted. Excellent, Alvaro. Good. And now Interrup try... Interrupter. No. 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 <laughs> That's why, Alvaro, never, never, when you're in class, never say, okay, always practice the pronunciation. Because if not, you're not going to learn the pronunciation. Try one more time, Alvaro. Interrupted. Interrupted. Excellent. And now try this one, Alvaro. Completed action. Completed action. Excellent, Alvaro. Great job. All right, guys. So let me explain. Super easy. Let me explain Thank the you. way the two grammar. No problem, Alvaro. Happy to help. Uh, past continuous is action not completed. It's not finished. And simple past is completed. Example is not the same. I was taking a shower. I took a shower. Is not the same. I was eating. I ate. What is the difference? The was not finished. If Carla told me, hey, teacher, I was taking a shower. Uy, chuka. And Carla didn't finish taking a shower. Mm -hmm. Ah, if Carla said, I took a shower. Yes, Carla is clean. The same. If Omar told me, I ate, finish. If Omar says, I was eating before the class, mm, not finish eating and going to continue after the class. Do we understand the difference? The was is not completed. And that simple past is completed. It's okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. All right. Let's watch a video with more examples and more ideas. It's easier. But academically, this is the important part between the simple past and the past continuous. Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. Okay, let's take a look at some of the examples that they gave us. The easiest part is the first one. This is the one that is super easy to understand because Jude, it probably happened to you. Look, I was watching a good movie. Ah, you are doing the action. But was watching means not finish the movie. Why not? Why do you didn't finish the movie? You, you in the middle of the movie, you fell asleep. Easy to understand, easy to see. This is the idea, past continuous, simple past. Action, but not finish because the other action happened. It's okay? Okay. It's okay. It's okay? Omar, you okay? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes? I understand. Right. Thank you. Perfect. Good. Day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use. 
but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take note on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay. I think that it's a little bit long, the explanation. That's why I hope that you understand mine. Super easy. Past continuous, not finished. Simple past, finished. Usually, past continuous, you were doing the action and then the other action, interrupt. This is the idea for both of them. Now, what do we always need to use with the past continuous? Always, always, you have to use the verb in with ing. So you have to use was or were plus ing. So I was cooking, I was playing, and then the other actions. It's okay? Yes. Okay, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, great. I'm going to give us, okay. Hang on. So let's see. Let's make sure that everybody understands. Let's try an example. Who can give me an example about today? What happened? One sentence. What happened in your life today? Tell me what happened today. Uh, maybe I have an example. I was in a work meeting when I received a call. Correct. But not good idea, but not correct grammar, but it's good. It's good idea, Rudy. Now, why is Rudy's not the correct idea? Because Rudy used was, but not for auxiliary. Use, Rudy used was for place. I was, I was in Chalatenango. I was in Santa Ana. Was, not with a verb. Rudy, what were you doing in the meeting? I I was, I, I don't know, because I was in a virtual meeting. So wh what were you doing in the meeting? You were um, talking, you were listening, you were speaking, you were taking notes. What, what were you doing? Sleeping? Listening. Uh, Rudy, no lie. <laughs> You're not sleeping. <laughs> you don't know. Listening, listening. <laughs> okay, exactly. So I was listening to my partner in a virtual meeting when I received the call is the difference because always past continuous is was, but with verb, not only was. No, I was in El Tunco is not the past continuous. This is only for place. It's okay, the difference? Teacher, maybe um, I was feeling sick mm -hmm. when I took the acetaminophen. Wow, very nice. I was feeling sick when I took a set of me. Exactly. That's very good. Ooh, 
a lot of messages, Carlita. Mm -hmm. It's not mine. I don't know. I hear. No. Ding, ding. Sorry, it's mine. It's okay. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's okay. Uh huh. Don't worry. Okay. It's okay, guys. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So I'm gonna give us some links before we get started be, to make sure that it's clear, to make sure that everybody has the idea. So remember, you need to open the links before you go to the groups. In the chat, please take a look, open the links before we go. You should have three links. You're going to do the three links in order to practice with your partner. So check. You should have three links in the chat, open them, and then we can practice with our partner. We have 10 minutes to complete the three links with our partner. Before we open, before we go to the groups, everybody open the links. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. All right, let's go. I will try to complete the examples. No problem, Solomon. Take it easy. Byron, what's the problem with Solomon? He's driving. He's driving. Okay, yes. no problem. I will put you two into a different group. That way Solomon can listen and you can participate with other people. Yes, no problem, thanks. Okay. You're welcome. About. Yes, this is correct. Also, let's look the next one. The second question is: Did you study English yesterday? What do you think, uh, Alvaro? Is in simple past or past continue? Did did you, uh, did, did you pass? Pass simple past or past continue? Si no, uh, simple past. It's simple past. Okay, thank you. That's right. So let's the next one. Uh, so yeah, I didn't go to the bed. At 10 o'clock, it's your turn. Uh -huh. What do you think? I didn't go to bed at 10 o'clock. Mm. It's past simple or past continue? Past, past simple. Past simple. Know. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's my turn. Uh, my brother and I play a board game yesterday afternoon. Uh, Number 10, so got home at a half past four. Press continue. Press continue. Um, not God. Also past simple. simple. Past simple, yeah. Oh, okay. Because God is uh, the verb in past. 
Number 11. Past continuous. Past continuous, yeah. Number 12. Someone wasn't reading past continuous. Continuous. Yeah? Continuous. Okay. Spanish. In the in, in the last link, the yeah. sentence are in Spanish. No, no, I, I don't know what happened with my, because I am checking that in my cell phone and I have this in, in Spanish, the, the sentence. Oh, when you open the link, appears the page in Spanish. Yeah. The Google translated the, the page. I'm going to do it. Okay. So, okay, I gonna help you. I going to read the okay. first uh, sentence. In... Mario, are you, are you on the, are you on the cell phone or on your computer? In my cell phone teacher, but I have issues with my internet. I tried to share the screen, but mm -hmm. I, I have issues. No problem. So How about you, David? I, David? Can you share? When I try to share the screen, also my partner tried to share the screen, but I don't know what happened. Eduardo, what do you, what happened with you with your screen? Do you have issues too? Yeah, uh, I'm taking the class in the computer, but I'm checking my cell phone and I can um, share because uh, I can, I couldn't open the, the link in my computer um, when you send. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay. So I just uh, copied the, the last link and I check in, in my cell phone. Okay, well, we try to do what we can, no problem. Okay. Okay, if, I don't know if someone else can share the screen and we can help. Yeah. Okay, when we have the the verb with ing, uh, it's past continuous, right? Yeah. Yes. When because we have the show. when the yes. when we finish the action is past simple, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between uh, both. When we my say my parents, mm -hmm. my parents visit. Rome last year. Visited Rome last simple. year. This is past simple, simple. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. The tourists flew to Paris in the morning. Past yeah. simple, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Paris in the morning. I, I didn't, didn't go, go to bed to at 10 o'clock. Past simple we only have two minutes i don't know if you can try with the other links yes, ah, yes. what is that <laughs> yeah, no, ah go on <laughs> no this, this, this lap this laptop <laughs> is not, it's not mine uh, I think you, I think, I thought that you are working right now. No, 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 this, I am in the laptop right now. I am in the laptop. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, 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 okay. Can the you, uh -huh. The brackets. Entonces, yes. él conoció. Ah, él conoció muchas personas mientras estaba tra estuvo trabajando en California. En California. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dice when they the museum when they left cuando ellos dejaron el museo the sun was shining. No where. No porque where es porque porque sun es uno solo es un objeto. Ah yeah. Y where es para yeah. day para yes, varios. Yes. Ajá. Cuando was. el sol. Okay. Ajá. Well, uh, mm -hmm. Los estudiantes dice the student the, uh, yeah. the student 
were play, was playing or were playing. Estaban jugando cartas. Were, were, playing. were playing cards when the teacher came in. Entró, vea, came in cuando uh -huh. el teacher entró. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Remember, uh, if you didn't finish the three links, no problem. The important is you have the knowledge and the concept how to use the two. If for you it's difficult, do the links after the class. If for you it's easy, not necessary the links. In this moment, let's try number one. Who would like to do number one? me okay go for it i think that is my brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several places okay thank you very much christian all right who's number two who wants to try number two mario okay all right mario go for it Okay, teacher, uh, let me see. Several years ago. Okay, just give me a second. A problem with math. So, I, uh, several years ago, I was having problems with math. So, I found a tutor to help me okay all right thank you very much who's number three number three me teacher excellent yancy go for it yancy no teacher carla. Oh, sorry carla sorry carla <laughs> sorry. the couple mm -hmm. had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment okay good thank you very much very nice who was number four me teacher omar Okay, go ahead, Omar. Uh, while I was driving in Iran a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Okay, very nice, Omar. Good. And number five, who's number five? Eduardo, okay, nice. Thank you, Eduardo. Don't be scared, Eduardo. It's okay. I heard you volunteer. What does it mean the first word, teacher? It's like Could you hear me? What's your name? Yes. Okay. Eduardo is there. Yes, go ahead. Okay. All right. I was reading a good book, but someone taught me, taught her the ending. Okay. Thanks. Number six. <coughs> me, me teacher. Ooh, okay. I don't know who was <laughs> Oh, sorry. Place. Come on, Yancy, no problem. Go ahead, Yancy, it's okay. the second time. All right. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, number six is, is while my mother was cooking dinner last night, the phone ran three times. Okay. 
Good. And the last one, who's got the last one? I don't believe it. Everybody's scared for the last one. Omar. Oh, no es comida. <laughs> it's okay. Take the last one. Take it. Take it. Uh, Tracy and Eric were working uh, when they. No. Okay. We're okay. working when they okay. working okay. at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Look at those sentences. Look at the verbs. I met uh, uh, <laughs> when they <laughs> met met at the same met. restaurant in Vancouver. Okay, so tell me what is the correct way? Me, meet Tracy mm -hmm. and I meet when they were working okay. at the same restaurant. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see how we're doing. A excellent number seven on target six good idea five woof amazing the same four and three and two and one that shows that you have the concept of past continuous and simple past no problems now we understand a little bit more okay very nice here now what are we going to learn this we're going to learn this so that we can use adverbs to tell stories let's look at what we're going to do adverbs to tell stories because tomorrow we're going to have a special homework and tomorrow we are going to tell a story but today let's discover how to tell a good story okay let's take a look at some vocabulary Try one more. I didn't want to load. Let me try loading it one more. Oh, if not, I will give it to you without it. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess it's having a little bit of issue. I'm not sure, but I'll explain while it's trying to load. Adverbs are words that modify or improve your story. They improve the sentence. How do they improve it? By answering the question, how? Okay. So whenever you're talking about something, cooking, walking, running, any activity, playing, the adverbs are going to tell us how you do it. Okay. So for example, Omar, when you are in, in the park and you see somebody walking, how do they walk? Oh, they walk quickly. Mm, they walk slowly. They walk cautiously. They walk, ah, all of these words that you use to describe how the person does it, these are called the adverbs. And these adverbs are good when you tell a story because they give you more information about it. Okay, it's okay what the idea is of the adverbs? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's unfortunate that in this moment, it's not loading you some. As a tip or as a good rule, normally adverbs finish with L-Y. So adverbs normally have the ending L-Y, not always, but is usually the idea, okay? So the verb uh, or the action, normal, but the adverb is normally with L-Y. So I want you to think about the activities that you did today, okay? Um, how, how did you do the activities? How did you drive? How did you cook? How did you do the different things? So teacher, we can say that the adverb give us uh, a lot of information about the verb. It gives us the information on how they did the verb. So the adverb is for how the activity was done. Okay. It answers the questions, how? So for example, you cooked. How did you cook? Oh, awfully. Guacatela. Oh, or mm, 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 deliciously. The adverb 
answers the question how. Mm -hmm. So tell me guys, what did you do today and how did you do it? Oh, nobody did anything today, huh? Wow, no, no life today. No living, no cooking, no playing, no eating, no walking, no working, no, no driving, no listening to music, no taking a shower. Oh my God. It's okay. Mistakes are part of the process. Uh, I work hard today. Exactly. That is an adverb. Okay. You worked hard. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Anybody else? I'm training legs today. <laughs> okay. How did you train? I have a yeah. leisurely day. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did you train your legs? Uh, I, ma I made the squats. <laughs> okay. So that is the exercise. So the question, how did you train your legs? No, what exercise did you do? So to use adverbs is how. Oh, uh, I, the idea is quickly, uh, uh, slowly, uh, heavily. The, the oh, idea. yes. How? I got mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Who else said a sentence? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Mm -hmm. I ate a lot of food in my lunch. Okay. And how did you eat your food? A hamburger. No. Two hamburger. no. No, no, sorry. What? no, what? How? Slowly, fast. Uh-huh. Did you have five minutes? Did you have one hour? Did you eat? Uh-huh. I have one hour. You were, you were careful because your wife wants to assassinate you and you were looking <laughs> for it cautiously. I don't know. Teacher. Uh-huh. Tell me. Uh, I rest patiently in my house. Good. Uh, patiently. Patiently. Okay. Good. If here is correct to say um I walk to my work when um surprisingly it was rain. Maybe I don't know. Surprisingly, yes. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's okay. No problem. Okay. okay. Yeah. Great. I have a deliciously lunch today. Okay. Okay. A delicious lunch. I read carefully the instructions. Very good. Exactly. How how were the instructions? Carefully. Mm -hmm. Very I good. I prepare a sandwich fast uh, because I had to continue working. Exactly. That is also correct. All right. Now we're going to see, as I mentioned, a few of the other examples. Here, as you can see, we have a lot of different words but all of the words are similar and they finish with L-Y, L-Y. These are the ideas for adverbs. So let's watch the small video. Or maybe not. One more time. I'm so sorry, Jeff. If not, we have, I'll have a few exercises for us to practice. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's the platform or not because I don't seem to have any issues with the internet, but you never know. Maybe it's an update that I need on the computer. So here, and what we're going to do is we're going to practice a few exercises with our partner, which are adjectives or adverbs. And in the chat, you have the first one, okay? to see if we understand what they are, if they are adjectives or adverbs. So with your partners, take a look. Okay. Did you open up the first link? Sure. Yep. Okay. So you should have two links. Um, let's try to do the two links and then we'll come back. Let's take five minutes. 
with our partners. Everybody has the two links? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's go to, uh, let me make a different group. There we go. Okay. Nancy, you having some issues? Nancy, you okay? Okay, let's take a look if this video is working. Hmm. A little strange. Okay, I'll try to figure it out, send a message.
Okay, guys, was that a little bit easier for you to understand the difference? I think so. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad. That's the idea, too. Not to complicate English, not to get too much grammar, just a, a good concept. So now that we have the idea and we're looking at the objective of telling stories, tomorrow you are responsible to tell a story. Each person is going to tell one story, but you cannot repeat the same story. What can you tell? We're going to tell stories using the past tense and the past continuous. We are not going to use this present tense. So as an example, if I talk about La Ciguanaba, I'm going to talk about La Ciguanaba. And if I talk about Cipotillo, I'm going to use it or whatever. If I want to talk about Cinderella, Cinderella. You are going to use the past tense, okay? We're going to talk about okay. different stories, okay? Sorry, Suyapa, did you have a question? Uh, is the work, uh, is the homework for tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow is a oral presentation. Now for tomorrow, it, please keep in mind, you will not read, no mm -hmm. reading. Exactly, thank you, Mario. No writing, no writing. Okay, tomorrow you will have to speak and tomorrow you have to have your camera on. I want to see you give the presentation. No, ay, me voy a esconder detrás de la cámara. Voy a, así, ay, no me van a ver el teacher y mi pelo. Ay, mi cara, ay, I don't care. I don't care. Ya tengo esposa. No estoy buscando otra. Relax. I don't care. Don't worry. I don't care. No te puedo voler. It's not for me. It no me importa. Okay. It doesn't matter. Tomorrow, I want to see you give the presentation. Quiero ver cómo son. Yes, Laura. Uh, do we have time to talk about our story? Tomorrow, yes. Uh, what is the time that we will have? Oh, uh, one minute. Yes. Mm -hmm. 90 seconds. 90 seconds, okay. 90 seconds. Teacher, I have a question. What is the topic of the presentations? I've heard you say examples of CPTO, Iwanaba, and Cindy Yes, Rose. very good. The topic are stories, traditional stories from Latin America or other countries, traditional stories. Goldilocks, Cinderella, the three little pigs, uh, the whatever the fables the idea is traditional stories or fables sullivan you have a question yeah sorry teacher i'm late i know but um they had the same questions that the, the other partner said uh, what is about the, the the homework for tomorrow ah uh, those they are called bedtime stories or traditional stories for example the turtle and the hair, the turtle, ah, you're going to talk about this. Oh, you're going to talk about the grasshopper and the ant. You're going to talk about uh, the La Ciguanaba. That's okay. You're going to talk about La Carreta Chiona. You have to look for the vocabulary. What is Carreta? What is Chiona? Oh, you're going to, whatever story you're going to talk about, you need to know. No, hey, teacher, ¿y cómo se okay. dice? Is your presentation? Sí. Es como ir a un, a un, a un a, a, a los jugados y no estar preparada. Mire, juez, ¿y, y, y cómo hago esto? ¿Y, y, ¿Y cómo era el artículo que tenía que...? No, come prepared, come prepared. Ok, in 90 seconds, right? Uh -huh. No era para vos, Carla, pero si lo agarraste, ya. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, Álvaro, you had a question. Me ha teacher, porque muy bien preparada cuando voy al juzgado. Uh -huh. <laughs> Para los jugados, sí, la clase. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no pues, soy buen estudiante, teacher, yes, me porto yes, bien. Le true. pongo la cámara. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Anybody else? Any questions? No questions Please, so teacher. far. Thank you. No questions. Wait, wait, no se vayan, no se vayan. Ahorita vamos a dejar ya... Nada de que, ay, es que ese era mi cuento, yo lo iba a decir. No, no repetición. Nada de que, ay, yo el mismo quería decir. No, right now, make a decision. What story do you want to talk about? El cipitillo. Eduardo, el cipitillo. Okay, Eduardo. My, my history. 
your history to Yapa? Snow White. So Yapa Snow White. I, I would Rudy like to video? talk about the Cadejo. El Cadejo Rudy. Mm -hmm. Siguanaba, teacher. Siguanaba. Okay, Carla de Siguanaba. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Rizos de oro. El, el cepitillo, nadie cepito. lo ha dicho todavía. Yeah, cepitillo, Eduardo. That's me. Ah, uh, yeah. Ya te lo quieren robar, Eduardo. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Um... Uh -huh. Los tres cerditos te toca. All right, Jose Omar. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. The three little pigs. White, mo white mo woman. I want the white woman. Ah, the white woman. Okay. All right. Good. Uh -huh. El pastor y el lobo. Ah, oh, Suleiman. Okay. Look for the vocabulary. It's interesting. Yeah, sure. uh -huh. Uh -huh. What else? Christian, Mario. Laguna de Cuscachapa. Okay, have to look for how do you say Laguna in English? That you're going to have to investigate. Uh huh. Christian Alvaro. Cuscachapa Lagoons. Ah, nice job, Mario. Ah, the Google is fast, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rudy Cadejo, Carla Siguanava. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Omar Tres Cerditos. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Which one? No se me ocurre. No se te ocurre, te la asigno. No te preocupes. Eh, bis, bis, vas, a tener los, ajá, vas a tener los... Uh, vas a tener... Rositos de oro. ¿Cómo es? Best and beauty. Rositos de oro. Ok. The, ah, the beauty in the beast, beast, Laura. Laura said beauty in the beast. Pero ya lo tiene. Yeah. Ok, good, ok. Ah. Laura. No, no, it's correct, Laura. Ya. Yeah. Ah. Okay, yes. okay. <laughs> okay, Laura, Beauty and the Beast. Laura, Beauty and the Beast. Alvaro, it's okay? What is the topic? <laughs> story, story, stories, David. Story. Any, story, any story you me, want. Me, Caperucita Roja. Caperucita Roja, okay. You have to investigate. How do you say Caperucita Roja in English? Good. Okay. Tomorrow we are prepared. Que quede claro. El último en llegar será el primero en presentar. Para los que llegan tarde, tarde es a las 8. De ahí adelante, vamos a ir en orden del último que se llegó a clase. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Excellent. Ahí no necessary volunteer. No. Si veniste tarde, ya sabes, esa es tu decisión. Fuiste voluntario. All right. I love Teacher. it. Yes. Teacher. What is, what is my story? Ah, Álvaro, the, in English is called Goldilocks. Ufai. Goldilocks. In Spanish, what is the name, guys? In Spanish. Risito de oro. Risito de oro. Ah, Risos de oro. Ah, oh, bueno. No, Risos. Sí. No, the other one. <laughs> Risos de, de cabello. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Sí, Risos de oro. Teacher, en, en español, mm -hmm. este... Ese vamos a, a escribirlo. No. Y lo vamos a, y no. lo vamos a decir en, en yes. inglés. Yes. Yes. ¿No? Exacto. Qué bueno no. que preguntaste. No. Right. Escribir. Tenés que dar una presentación oral con tu cámara encendido, viéndome a mí para estar seguro que no estés leyendo. Memory. No, memory. Hablar. Uh -huh. En español te puedes el cuento. The same in English. Only use the English vocabulary. All right, excellent. All right, guys, have a nice night. I see you tomorrow. Excellent presentations. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Tomorrow I feel sick, maybe. You are sick in audio and in audio and in group. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.